Hey everybody, Guan Yu15 back one more time um, for a little Stellaris informational session. Today we're going to talk about genetic modifications. Um, what to do with your millions of species or your hundreds of species in your empire that you, you just want to do a little bit something more. So, as you can see, this is the state of the galaxy as we have it. We're doing pretty good here on the southern side. Um, we're holding our own. I'm a little worried about these, this trade commission up there. They're getting pretty big. Um, but the rest of these guys are pretty small. We should be able to handle them unless they form a giant alliance of some sort. So, uh, so let's scroll back down in here and see. And we're going to go to right into here to species. Now you can see these are the species that exist in our empire. Um, the Uri, the Yukopaknar, the Shrek, the Met Metpucks, Jabanaki, Grachnoplorin, Glust, Werni, and the Ob Avery. Tells us how many of each population we have as well. Um, this is our main one, obviously, the Avery. We have 289. And we're going to do a few things with these guys. Uh, let's go to Modify. So you can see we've researched enough technology where we have four gene points remaining. So we're going to go ahead and go to Modify. And this brings up the genetic screen. So what you see here is the current, current um, traits that the species has, the planet preference, and additional traits down here. Um, this lets you tailor. So let's say we want to add an ag agrarian onto our species. Um, gives us a plus, it costs two trait points, gives us a plus 15 food percentage. We click that, it would add that to there. We'd have to click which planets we want to modify. Um, you can do just do a few of them, and if you do, it might it can sometimes make like a subspecies. I mean, they're still considered your Avery, but they'll be like a subspecies of them. Or you can select them all, right there. And it tells you how much biology research is going to cost us for doing this. Um, so we, we, we selected all the population, 289, and it costs 14,450 uh, biology research. Uh, in, retros in, in comparison, the current thing, the foreign soil enrichment that gives us 5% habitability, it costs 33,000. So it's not out of line. It's basically like another tech. Uh, that's not what we want to do, because um, I don't really care about food at this point in the game. You can see my food's maxed out, and I'm getting 118 per turn. I'm actually trying to get rid of as many farms as I can. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to make our dudes hyper-intelligent. Um, intelligence costs two of the genetic points, gives us plus 10% engineering, plus 10% physics, plus 10% society output. So basically all our research is going to get a 10% boon. Bam, we're going to do that. The other thing we're going to do at the same time, because you can do all this at the same time, is we're going to get rid of this fleeting, which remember if we started the game, we had our, our leaders die quicker, uh, 10 years quicker, which isn't a big deal. I could probably keep it on there, but I just feel like getting rid of it. It costs one point. We'll get rid of that. And we're going to make our guys strong. So they're going to be intelligent and strong, basically the best of everything, right? It costs one point, gives us 20% to our army damage, since I think we will be fighting more on the ground, a little more ground forces, and a 5% bonus to our minerals. We'll go ahead and slam that in there as well. Uh, you can notice that you can change your planet preference if you really want to as well. Like, uh, you can change it to an ocean preference or an arctic preference or whatever you have. Uh, that'd be bad for me at this day of the game because, if, I mean, I've, I've been terraforming all my planets over here. They're all tropical worlds and it's exactly what we want. So, uh, I selected every single pop, every single planet I have, right? I did. And there you go. It cost 28,900. Um, evolutionary points to do this to make my guys intelligent strong and get rid of the fleeting trait uh so let's do it let's go ahead and hit the modify button Kaplow. you can see it makes this special uh special um, situation log um so and that's how much it costs looks like 72 months twenty-eight thousand. uh we'll hit research and remember since we're doing something research where this will this society research goes on hold so let's modify the avery species all right, so it tells you what it's busy with. It's currently busy with the Modify the Avery species. Um, so that's going to go on hold. And in a short, what was it, 72 months? 72 months, we will have a new genetic line to go with. Um, and in just a second here, when 72 months goes by, we'll be back and I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. In a very non-climactic encounter, it simply said, Species Modified. If we take a look at our species list now, you'll see that our main Avery here, 296 of them, there they go, intelligent, strong, and not uh, fleeting. Uh, you can notice that I do have a subset of 12 of these dudes who are not like that. That's because I colonized three planets in the, in a, while these guys were uh, genetically modified, so these are not modified. The nice thing though is that it allows me, it gives, it gives me four genetic points for these guys as well. So I'm going to do the same thing, it'll be significantly cheaper. Um, let's just take a look at it. Do that, uh, do that, and we want to be 
strong. Um, slept them all. Yeah, 1,200. It's going to take, what is that, four months in order to do. So we'll hit modify on those guys. Uh, let's actually do three months. All right. One thing I kind of thought would be cool too, and what I mentioned is that we have these groups, this group of people called the Janabi or whatever. Um, if we go look at them, they're around here. They're in Akmal. Um, they're a small group of beings. Um, they're not intelligent. You can kind of think of them like ape like creatures. And we can't genetically modify them. But what we can do is something called uplift. And that means we put all our technology, all our resources into making them intelligent and sentient. Once that happens, uh, we'll be able to modify them and they'll become part of our empire. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit uplift, bow, and we're going to be able to select their traits. Um, and then we're going to uplift them. It's going to be very quick because it's only three population here. And what, I was, what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm going to make them like our warrior cast. So if, if they can populate this planet and we can just build a, lot, a bunch of our military off that off that planet, then uh, that'll work out really well. Um, they're currently savanna preference. Maybe we should make them tropical. I mean, they're gonna, that way they'll move around in our empire a little bit better. And let's make um, where we go. Super strong. We're super strong. Very strong. Plop. Uh, gives us we had five points actually. So we got two more points, and we could make them nomadic so they move around a little bit. But is there anything else that uh, resilient gives them better garrison strength? Uh, let's see if there's anything else out here though that's interesting. I don't think there really is. Not for somebody that we want to. I mean, we made them super strong. Uh, rapid breeders, so they breed really quick. Yeah, let's make them rapid breeders, and let's make them uh, nomadic, so they move around a lot. And that's going to cost us 6,500. We're going to uplift these guys, and when that's done, they'll be a part of our empire. Um, that's one of our special projects. We can only do one at a time, because they both use uh, society research. Um, but this should be really quick. So that's genetic modification. Uh, you can take any species you want in your empire and do something with them. If you want these guys to be like your uh, your intelligence guys or your research guys, you can you know you can basically make them super smart. Do anything you really want, basically. Um, it's kind of neat little eugenics in there, and uh, that's it. So from now on, anybody from our colonies of Avery here, once we uh, modify these guys. Once these guys breed, or anybody who comes off of them, will be, um, they'll have these genetics. They'll have strong, you know, smart, and uh, not fleeting. So, uh, species um, development. It's interesting, uh, um, another kind of random thing that Paradox puts in their games that makes it a little more in-depth, a little more uh, strategy to than just the typical go around, get colonies and stuff. That's it, thanks for watching.